Hello everyone, my name is Vona and welcome back to Pocket Mirror. Um, last time we arrived in this strange little world because we followed a creepy doll through a mirror portal of some kind. As you do. So, uh, yeah. We're gonna carry on. We had pumpkins laughing at us. We saw creepy dolls. There were marbles. Puzzles. It was a good time. Oh, it's closed shut. The doorknob is stuck. Oh great, this is a puzzle, isn't it? Oh boy. I don't want to touch it. Well, don't touch it then. I'm trying to get to- okay, I can't get to the door behind it. Alright. Hmm. Is there anything around here I can touch? Well, I can't go through there either. It's closed shut, the door not is done. Alright. There. Didn't think it would make it easy for me, did I? Mm, nothing along this wall. There's a reflection of a door. Rose petals. The rose petals lead from that door to this door. Just pretend you're asleep or she'll get you. Question mark. <laughs> Blinded as sacrifice for those in dismay. Stolen by the left. Stolen by the just. Childish play. Right and left taken by the hand. Our request is your demand. Oh. No? Okay, that one says the same thing. Right and left, taken by the hand. Our request is your demand. Inspect. A golden pocket mirror. Its lid is beautiful, adorned with a fancy flower pattern. The letter G can be spotted on its back. Ooh, maybe her name starts with G. Interesting. This pumpkin's no use. Maybe if I talk to the other pumpkin. Nope. Oh! The door is open now. I don't remember doing anything, but okay. Pumpkin. Drawing is based upon perspective, which is nothing more than a thorough knowledge of the function of the eye. Aren't I smart? She's like, <laughs> Yeah! Rebirth, 1785. The painting of an elderly woman surrounded by thorns. Fate, 1655. Grasping the dagger buried into her chest, a lady sinks to the bottom of the sea. Wonderful. I want to look at the other one. Let me look at the other one. Okay, never mind. Uh, Satisfaction, 1800. A woman sits on a throne, wrapping her hands around an expressionless small child's neck. What is this? Pumpkin charms. Okay. Salvation, 1722. The painting of a woman lying in bed, surrounded by represent representations of death and demons. I don't like this painting. Me neither, G. Punishment, 1538. A girl joins her own two hands as her hair burns in crimson flames. Blah. Delusion, 1760. The painting of an important looking female aristocrat, surrounded by various young girls desperately clinging to her. Did you know that pumpkin flowers are edible? Did not know that. I wouldn't mind having my inside scooped out as long as I could become a yummy pumpkin pie. You okay there, bud? I think he's okay. Retribution, 1598. Reunited in a golden room, various smiling women witnessed the murder of a newborn child by decapitation. What? Such a horrible painting. I agree. Numb, 1633. Skeleton hands reach out to a lady dancing passionately amongst the flames. Why are all these paintings so macabre? Futile Hope, 1642. A group of women ride their mounts into battle dressed in long white dresses. Is that a window? A dim light emerges through the window. So it's not too bright and you can't see anything? Bridal Virgin, 1666. A ghostly pale girl sits on a well-carved wooden chair wearing nothing but an airy white veil. 
nothing but an airy wide veil? Rightful dominance, 1543. Various women engage in a heated celebration, dancing over the corpses of numerous men. I agree with this one. Historically. Destiny, 1843. Grasping the dagger buried in her chest, a lady sinks to the bottom of the sea with a mischievous grin on her lips. What the frick? Murky dark water drips endlessly from beneath the flame of the frame of the painting. Why? Hatred, 1844. The painting of a lady wearing an eye patch. She seems to be upset. Sisterly, 1844. The painting of a confident woman. Such a pretty lady. And the music stopped. Maybe if we... Oh! Hey, little girl, get back here. What? The painting spoke to me, I don't like it, I'm going. Oh. It's locked. Of course it is. Well, there was another picture that was similar to that one, which is this one. Grasping the dagger buried into her chest, the lady sinks to the bottom of the sea. See, that was similar to the other one. Pumpkin, do you know anything? You don't know. Garbage. Excuse me, miss. Oh, that painting. Yes. Would you please show me what you've got there? I'm gonna die, aren't I? Alright, just please be careful. I'll be taking this, thank you very much. No, please give it back. How far are you willing to go? I'll do anything, just please give it back. How generous of you. I'll gladly take you up on that offer then. I'm sick and tired of being stared at. I command you to take that woman's left eye if you want to live. Resist and we shall take yours instead. What do I do? <laughs> this one? I don't know what to do. I kind of have to. I don't have a choice. I'm so sorry. Curse you, Annalise. Oh! I died, didn't I? Game over! Great! Okay. Well then. First death. Oh no, wait. What did I do to unlock this door the first time? Oh gosh. Uh. Let me just uh, skip ahead a bit and I'll come back when I've uh, got back to where I was. I forgot that I can sprint. Oh my god. Oh my god. Press- ah! ah! I don't know how you feel. Jeez. Poor girl. I to obtain blue eyeball. Well that's horrifying. Wait, blinded. I don't have my pocket mirror! Blinded is sacrifice for those in dismay. What if I use this? Oh, I need an, uh, another freaking eyeball? I do not have my pocket mirror. This is not good. Can I go in this room now? I can. Oh boy. I should save. I'm a speedy little girl. Whee! Run, run, run. Alright. I want to see it once more. There was once a certain illusion I saw in a mirror I once knew so well. There were a pair of crimson-coloured irises accompanied by only their reflection. The two eyes remained still, not once blinking in the short amount of time they had stayed, staring directly at me, and no one but me. All I can remember from the day I was born are a few memories, forged encounters which I have never experienced in my forgotten existence. Recollections which didn't belong to me. 
in all honesty, who am I? To whom the, do those memories belong, I wonder? They are certainly not mine, and yet here they dwell, inside this small room where I sit. Ever reminded of those of these fabricated crimson irises, which replayed once and again a thousand times, has such memory been showcased inside my small mind? And yet I still can't reach any conclusion other than my complete existence has always been, and always will be, remain contained. My complete existence has always been and always will remain controlled by those same eyes. Living in this small room, I remember a dream I once had, a tremendously vivid one. A red carpet had been laid before my feet, which guided me towards a single opening on a darkened wall, one that seemed to advance further and further with every step I took. In an instant, I was thrown into a world I did not know existed. On the other side of the gap, I found a reflection. My reflection. Silky brown hair covered my back, braided into thick braids on each side of my head, which beautifully framed my cherry red eyes. Standing before me was a little girl dressed in a fancy frilly clothing. Who was this person I had never seen? Could it be me? I recall lifting my small hand and touching my own cheek. Such a gesture engraved itself onto my memory. The soft texture of my skin, the free and effortless movement I had made to raise my hand made me realise I could move. Such a strange sensation of empowerment filled my soul and body, leading me to a feeling of excitement which, which led my imagination astray. I was... not only was I real, I was alive. That little girl reflected in the mirror was me, and I could breathe and live. Life dwelled inside my body, and yet... As I turned my head to look outside, the same light which had crept into my small room had blinded me once again, leaving me inside my old room where I stayed. Deprived of senses, deprived of a sensation I once knew as life, I stayed. Please, show me the light. I want to see it once more. I want to live. Such a sad story. I know, right? Aww, there's someone crying. Each jar floats half of an unusually big eyeball staining the water with gelatinous flesh and blood. Ugh. Pumpkin. An eye for an eye. An eyeball floats in murky water sealed inside an old jar. Hmm. Well, this does not want to be interacted with, despite the question mark. I want to see the light once again. There's something in there. Ooh, pumpkin charms. Uh, the light. This light? No. Hmm. Oh! Well, have I just screwed myself over? I think I might have. What if I run out and come in again? Okay, it's reset. Okay, good. So I think I need to push it the other way. Hmm. Well, now I've just pushed it into a corner. Oh, that's scary. Uh, so that's all right. From now on, I'll always be number one. This can't be. Here, you can have your little toy back. Thank you. It says ha 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 on the floor. All right, that's scary. I'm leaving now. Goodbye. I just came back to get my pocket mirror because I figured that I would get an instant game over if I didn't. So uh, yeah, let's let's go back to the other room, shall we? Oh, Jesus. All right. Uh. I just need one more mirror shard. Will my pocket mirror work? It will. Thank you, miss. Now I can finally give this back to you. Back to me? I better take it with me. Yeah, no kidding. Alright, that was weird. Uh, 
We are forever grateful, miss. Okay. Saving again. Did you know a human head remains conscious for about 15 to 20 seconds after decapita decapitation? <laughs> no! I don't know why I chose to go left. Messer und Gabel. Knife and fork? What are these? Did I go the right way? It's so dark, I can't see clearly. Sugary supper. Shh, shh, don't make so much noise, everyone's asleep. Oh, I'm sorry. That pumpkin sure is asleep. No, please don't turn me into a pumpkin pie. Wow, that one's having a bad dream. Uh, oh, hello. Shadow, darkness is where I feel most comfortable. I won't, it won't ask any questions. It won't try to understand you either. Oh, another pumpkin charm. I don't know what I'm doing with these, but okay. That one's asleep. That one's also asleep. Stop. More pumpkin charms. There's something on the door, but I can't read it. It's too dark in here. Oh, I have to save, don't I? Oh, no. There's going to be a boss battle or something, isn't there? Pumpkin. Also asleep. This isn't a real door, it's painted on the wall. Okay. Well, this is very scary. Oh, jeez. The Queen's menu. Queen Egliette's dinner party menu. Royal apple strudel, caramel pumpkin pot de creme, marvelous dream cake, the Queen's favorite cookie cups. Cookie cups. Smooth pumpkin mousse, pumpkin flan, specialty, secret deluxe dessert. These look so yummy. There's even apple strudel. Oh, there's people here now. There's a book. Do I sit down? Oh, this is nice. Uh oh. Wait, what's happening? The Queen! Good evening, everyone, and thank you very much for attending my welcoming dinner party. This must be Egliet, then? <laughs> she had to climb up onto the chair, that's adorable. Egliet! Pup, pup Re Regina. So she's the puppet queen. Oh, Egliet. We shall celebrate our guest's arrival with a toast. Bring in the desserts. Wow. This is great music. She's looking at me. And who might you be? Yeah, what is your name? Ah, I'm... Silence. Okay. What might you be doing here? Um, I... Silence. <laughs> There is only one way to know. Answer correctly and you may stay, but dare get it wrong and everyone knows what will happen. Death? Wait, please, I- shush! Tell me, little girl, what will be my order at tonight's dinner party? Well... to these? Is there someone sitting here? Such impudence. Mind your manners, you rude pussy. I'm, I'm sorry. As long as you've learned your lesson. 
The Queen's parties are the absolute best. I'm going to eat until I burst. I'm in a pretty good mood tonight. You can have this. Oh, thank you. Having a hard time deciding, miss? Uh, yes. Do you want advice? Maybe a hint? It's, it's not the Queen's favorite cookie cups. Thank you, miss. I'm really looking forward to the special deluxe dessert. Everyone's been talking about it. I only came for the pumpkin flan. It's not the Queen's favorite cookie cups. I would really appreciate it if these guests would stop chattering. My head hurts. Rip you, I guess. I'm just here to please the Queen. I don't even like these people. <laughs> oh, what a mood. What a mood. I heard that the Queen is preparing a surprise for all of us. I'm so excited. Our Queen is the kindest person you could ever meet. She's a true angel. Well, she told me to shut the hell up several times. Finally, time to stuff my face. Okay, uh, caramel pumpkin pot de creme. Smooth pumpkin mousse. Smooth puffy pumpkin mousse, beautifully garnished with chopped almonds. Ooh, more pumpkin charms. Royal apple strudel. A long roll of golden apple strudel lays on a tray filled with creamy apple filling and surrounded by raisins. It looks so yummy. Marvelous dream cake. A, a tall chocolate sponge cake covered in glossy icing and decorated with shiny cherries on top. That does look nice. Pumpkin flan. A large pudding rests on a big plate flooded with runny dark caramel. Oh, now I'm getting hungry. Queen's favorite cookie cups. Several cookie cups lay on a tray filled with various wonderful colors of cut. Various colorful fillings and fruit. No. No. Okay. Uh. That one said it's not the Queen's cookie cups. Does that mean it is? Or are you being annoying? So, which one is it? I think it's... I'll go with that one. Oh? Did I get it right? I see you're not as ignorant as you look. Yay! That stupid pink sprite trying to put me off. <laughs> thank you for all of... Thank you all for attending my special dinner party. I expect to see you all at tonight's dancing party. And as for you, my child... You are invited as well. Woo! I so shall certainly enjoy such a smart girl's presence at my special event. Thank you. I shall now take my leave. You haven't even eaten your queen's favorite cookie cups. But that's a fake door. Oh. Well, that was an abrupt change. A spotty, slimy mixture clings to the withered pudding. Ew. The once full of colourful cookie cups have fallen apart, revealing a black slimy filling. What the heck? How did it fall apart so quickly? Oh, what's this? Small bottle, drink me. Oh, this is giving Alice in Wonderland vibes. What the heck? I can't fit through the door. This is, this is Alice in Wonderland. Am I going to shrink? What just happened? You shrunk. You're tiny. Everything got big. Yeah, sure. That's the thing to take away from this. Okay. Oh, hello. What is that? A chandelier? Jeez. Why am I falling in the center of the room? Ow! <laughs> what the heck just happened? Aw, what a lovely dance! Huh? Where am I? Well, you're right in the middle of the same room you were in, aren't you? Pumpkin. The queen filled me up with punch, isn't that hilarious? Are you feeling alright? All right, did you ask me if I was doing all right? I've never felt this free in my entire life. I swear I could fly if you threw me out the window. Let's not do that. <laughs> yeah, let's uh, let's not do that, shall we? Come on, let's talk to this pumpkin. Why are you sitting over there? What did you say? I can't hear you from here. I'm asking you why you're sitting so far away from me. You're asking me if I want to go practice skiing? 
go, you pumpkin head. I'm asking you why you're sitting over there and not over here. No, I don't like my beef rare and on medium heat. I like mine well done. Why does the pumpkin like beef? You're a pumpkin. Why are you a carnivore? Sorry, never mind. Well then, that was a little bit horrifying. We're practicing for tonight's party. What do you think of our dancing, miss? It's wonderful. You two look very elegant. Why, thank you very much. Oh, they're slightly out of time now because I talked to them. Whoops. The severed head of a plush toy fox. Is that what you want? Is that how you're dressed for the Queen Egliette's... Egliette, I think I'm pronouncing that right. Queen Egliette's dancing party? Pfft. These are the only clothes I have. Oh. The severed head of a plush toy rabbit. Is he alright? Yes, I'm alright. Thank you, miss. Ah, you can talk. Yes, indeed I can. Although it's a shame I can't dance anymore. Oh, these are plushies. What happened? You don't have a body. It's not a happy tale, miss. Are you sure you want to listen? If it's alright with you. Take a seat then. This might take a little while. <laughs> yes. In the past, Mrs. Fox and I were the best dancers in the whole kingdom. We quickly became the Queen's favourite couple and we would dance for her every day. Because we were the star of every dance party and, and were even invited to dance for Queen Egliot's most precious friend, next thing we knew, everyone had become jealous, even envious of our talents. I see. One night, after one of the Queen's biggest dance parties, we were ambushed in the dressing room by the other dancers. Ambushed? Apparently we were too perfect and didn't leave them any chances to be recognised by the Queen. That's the excuse they used to rip our bodies apart. They hid our limbs, leaving only our heads behind so we could watch them dance in our place. That's horrible. Indeed it is. Is there any way I can help you? I believe there isn't much you could do, miss. I don't know where they've hidden our bodies. They could be anywhere. I might be able to get them for you, Mr. Rabbit. That you could, but how are you planning to do so? I believe it's worth a try. Please let me help you. You are a truly kind lady, miss. May I know your name? I'm sorry, Mr. Rabbit. I don't seem to know my own name. But I will definitely help you and Mrs. Fox. Thank you, miss. And please, if you run into her by any chance, please do tell her everything is going to be alright. <laughs> you can leave that to me. Aww. What was that? Oh, that's the plush rabbit. That's the rabbit's head. Maybe she's asleep. I shouldn't bother her for now. Well, she just talked to me. Oh, is that a door? Oh, that's the door. Alright, maybe we're just silly. <laughs> Jack in the box. Oh boy. Save box. You know what? I'm gonna save. Sugary supper. Jack in the box. Oh boy. Uh, will I keep going? Yeah, I'll keep going. Why not? We're vibing. Please, I need your help. Yes, how can I help you? You see, last Tuesday I won the Kingdom's Lottery and the Queen gave me a shiny coin to use on that machine around the corner, but I can't seem to be able to use it. Oh, so you'd like me to do it for you? If you don't mind, I've hidden the coin beneath my leaves. <laughs> this one, right? Yes, yes, it's that one. Use it, miss. I want to see what my prize is. Okay. What, this one? A strange box is stored in a corner containing various coloured balls in it. Insert coin. Oh, something came out. What is it? What is it? Let's see. Ribbon. It's Ah, it's a ribbon. A ribbon? It's really cute. You don't like it? I do, but I'm a boy. Hey, listen. Boys can wear ribbons too. I mean, it's the year of our Lord 2023. Boys can wear ribbons if they want to. I can't use my ribbon. Well, you could if you wanted to. I'm sorry, miss. It seems I can't claim my prize after all. I'm gonna give the ribbon to you. Yes, you can. There, see? It looks pretty on you, Mr. Pumpkin. It does. There are no mirrors here, so I can't tell. Leave that to me. Oh, look at that pretty pumpkin. <laughs> That's a pretty pumpkin. See? You're right, miss. Thank you. You're welcome, Mr. Pumpkin. Aw. I think we made that pumpkin's entire life, let's be honest. Oh. This looks horribly ominous and I don't like it. Hi, pumpkin. Oh, there's two, four, six, seven. I can't count. Seven boxes. Great surprises await you in this room. Ringmaster. Oh boy. The box is locked shut. The box is locked shut. The box is locked shut. 
Oh, open. Oh, Christ. Why, hello there, miss. Would you like to play a game with us? You scared me. What kind of game is it? Why, hello there, miss. Would you like to play a game with us? Yeah. Alright. Tell me the answer to this next riddle and you will be highly rewarded. Should you come upon any trouble, don't hesitate to ask the ringmaster. Yes. At his own funeral... At his own funeral did Math Matthias C. gathered by the open grave his family of three. Father, mother and brother. And a couple more who didn't bother. So that's five. So I have to go to the box marked with the answer. So that is five. But does Matthias himself count? If he's there to see. Uh, I'm gonna go to six. You're rather smart, aren't you? Here's the next riddle. Oh my gosh. I thought I was gonna die. Three times did Marie poke my eye. Three times did she make me cry. Now tell me, little girl, how many times did I wish for her to die? Three? Well, it can't be six, because I'm standing at the six box. But, yeah, it's got to be three, hasn't it? Because the three times the person cried was the three times that Marie poked you in the eye. So after each time, I'm, I'm guessing it's three. <laughs> Correct! Woo! Here's the next riddle. I like riddles. This is nice. It's yellow, blue, red, and green. Resembles a banana. I can't remember the other three colours, so maybe you should ask the queen. Doesn't seem to be numbers in this riddle. All the seven colours all together. Right? Yellow, blue, red, green, and then other three colours. Seven then. Oh, I'm impressed. <laughs> okay. I am just BSing my way through this. Here's the next riddle. Katerina and Valentina were born on the 12th of September. One mysterious is the moon, the other cursed with short temper. On the day Valentina turned two, Katerina was half her age. Years have passed, filled with turmoil and rage. The day she turned ten, Valentina remembered her sister with sorrow. How many years would I be her eldest had she lived another tomorrow? Well, damn. On the day Valentina turned two, Katharina was half her age. So they're one year apart. How many years would I be her eldest? Yeah, one year, right? <laughs> Woo! <laughs> it's not as if you're correct or anything. Here's the next riddle. Alright. Having placed her five baked dishes on the window ledge to cool, Mrs. Elizabeth headed out to town to buy pretty boxes and ribbons to wrap them up. Little did she know that while she was away, a robber had come and eaten two of them. A robber. A robber comes along and all he does is just eat pies. Followed by a strange dog, stray dog who ate another one. Once Miss Elizabeth came back, she was gutted to know the disaster that had occurred. How many dishes were saved on that dreadful day? be as simple as it appears, right? It can't be two. Can it? I mean, that's just maths. That's not... That's not a riddle. How many dishes were saved? <laughs> Every box will have their own riddle sent to you. Think hard and be clever for there is a riddle that has no answer. Get it right and you shall advance. Get it wrong three times and there won't be a fourth chance. Should any questions arise, don't hesitate to ask me. The ringmaster I am standing here to serve thee. How many did she bake again? 
five. But how many dishes were saved? What kind of fancy dishes did she bake, I wonder? Hmm. Is it five then? I don't understand this. Having placed her five baked dishes on the window ledge to cool, Mrs. Elizabeth headed out to town to buy pretty boxes and ribbons to wrap them up. Little did she know that while she was away, a robber had come and eaten two of them, followed by a stray dog who ate another one. Once Mrs. Elizabeth came back, she was gutted to know the disaster that had occurred. How many dishes were saved on that dreadful day? Saved. I mean, I don't understand that one, but I'll go for five anyway. Oh, bingo! Here's the next riddle. Two books rest on a shelf. One is upside down, the other is backwards. So tell me, little girl, what is the sum of the first page in each book? What is the sum of the first page in each book? Well, even if one is upside down and the other is backwards, they still only have one first page, right? So is it two? Oh, smart, small girl, big brains. Here's the next riddle. Queen Egliet ate a dozen candies of five different flavours. A bunch of them were pumpkin flavoured. One was a green apple, two were blueberry, two were grape, and three were cherry. So tell me, miss, how many pumpkin candies did Queen Egliet eat? Wait. Wait, so a dozen. Hang on. Hang on. Queen Egliet ate a dozen candies. So one was apple, two were blueberry, two were grape, and three were cherry. So it's got to be four. See, that's just simple maths, but... Correct, here's the final riddle. Oh boy. I am all powerful and mighty. Going through doors is my specialty. Many in these twisted halls will stand, but fear not, my girl, have me in hand. For with a gentle touch can I undo the restraints cast upon you. Just a chicken. Well, I think that's a key, right? Good job, miss. You are one truly smart little girl. As I promised, here is your reward. A key! Why, thank you. Thank you, mister, but where am I supposed to use this key? Oh, I wouldn't know. I found it on the floor the other day. <laughs> She's like, oh, thanks. Good job, miss. That was quite a show. Here's a little hint for the future. Be kind and caring, for your opponents will tend to be rather daring. Okay. Noted. Uh oh, miss? Yes? Yes? <laughs> I have one more riddle for you. Would you care to listen? Yes. Go ahead. What gets broken without being held? I'm sorry, but I'll need time to think on that one. Worry not, Miss Girl, for that riddle's answer does not belong to me, it belongs to you. What breaks without being held? Mister? What breaks without being held? Silence? No. Guess I will need time to think on that one. But I think I am actually going to end there. We've done all the rules. We've been playing for an hour and two minutes. So yeah, we are going to end there. Thank you all so very much for watching. I'm really enjoying this game. There's elements of creepiness. The puzzles are a bit too much for my brain. Uh... Although the, the riddles were fun. I love the riddles. That was that was fun. But yeah, I'm really enjoying this game. The characters are great. The art style is great. The music is great. Uh, I'm really enjoying this game so far. And yes, of course, it's slightly creepy, slightly horror-ish. But, you know, that, that's what I signed up for. So <laughs> yeah, I will be playing more of this game. Absolutely. So thank you all very, very much for watching. And I will see you in the next episode.